You are now seeing the objects exactly as they were photographed. Comprehensive analysis has eliminated meteors. Their form is circular and sometimes elliptical. This fits the commonly used flying saucer description. Yo, what's going on, people? This is your boy Say One History from The Awakened Show. And it just seems like Texas cannot get enough of UFOs. Now, this is coming off the cuff of a number of different videos of UFOs over in the Texas area. And then one that I just done two months ago here in reference to a triangle UFO uh, sitting over a house. And I'll show you that a little bit later. But this one is actually coming from New Bronzeville, San Antonio, Texas here, where onlookers spot an army of UFOs hovering over a parking lot here as they're going to their cars. Now, what appears to be six glowing orbs in the sky here are actually reminiscent of shooting stars or meteors. Uh, and I say shooting stars or meteors because they're leaving some sort of tail reminiscent of a meteor or shooting star coming into our atmosphere here. And that's what you're noticing. But unlike shooting stars or asteroids here, these are moving in a very intelligent way. When I say intelligent, they're not actually just traveling through our atmosphere in one direction here. These are actually moving in mysterious ways. Not only that here, but they're disappearing and they're coming on and off back and forth. Now, this just happened today, November 8th, 2018 here. So this is literally hours ago here and no military, no government explanation has actually come out and said that, you know, they know what is going on here. And if they did, to be completely honest with you, I probably wouldn't believe them anyway. And what I like to do when I actually hear a story like this is just go on the map and actually see what's in that vicinity. And what I found is very interesting here. Over in this area, you're actually going to find tons of military bases, like Fort Sam Headquarters, 5th U.S. Army, Army and Air Force Exchange Services here. We're actually looking at JBSA Randolph here. Um, there's an Air Force base over here. Just tons of different military reservations over in this particular area here. Now, what does that mean to us? Now, it means that there could be some kind of a secret technology or a secret prototype that they're actually working on. It could be reverse engineered technology here, or it could just be flares. It could actually be flares. Do I think it's that? I highly doubt it here. Um, but when we actually get these many military bases over in this area, I, I can only imagine they're flying something over there that they don't want people to know about. Now, I'm really interested to see how this story actually plays moving forward. I want to see if they're going to come out with the same story as normal, uh, some kind of cover story saying that this was flares, saying that this was swamp gas, saying that this might actually be uh, a serious star uh, uh, being reflected by a shimmer in the sky. I I'm just really interested to see how this plays out moving forward, if they say anything at all. And sometimes people, that's worse because they don't have an explanation to give to you on the fly. So sometimes not saying anything says a whole lot. And although a lot of people would like for their government to actually give them some kind of real, true, official statement, I really wouldn't hold my breath. And with that being said, people, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to check out all the new cool content that we're coming out with literally on a daily basis here. And before we go, I just wanted to give you an update on the night vision images that we're actually showing you here. Um, we've been working tirelessly to actually get you the clearest, best images here in night vision of all the anomalous activities going on in our skies here. And we finally come to a point now where it's going to come to fruition here. Uh, we have the night vision images, but they're a little bit grainy because it's running on an old XL camera here. But we finally put together the phone's patch. So go ahead and get you the best quality images that you're going to find anywhere on a YouTube channel. So again, please make sure that you like and subscribe here because there's going to be some really cool footage. Um, 
the zoom on this is going to be phenomenal so i can't wait until i actually get the different pieces that we need this should actually uh, be tomorrow we'll get those pieces i'll start recording start uh, taking some of the shots here and then hopefully post some really cool stuff up on the channel so you guys definitely uh, stay tuned for that hit that notification bell thank you again for checking us out we really appreciate all the subscribers and all the viewers and we will talk to you soon you guys have an awesome day you are now seeing the objects exactly as they were photographed comprehensive analysis has eliminated meteors their form is circular and sometimes elliptical this fits the commonly used flying saucer description. description.